It is fair enough and I do sympathise with anyone who struggles to get to grips with all 45 of the species that are in the Combretaceae family in Southern Africa. But if you're going to get to grips with one, this would be a very good one for you to start with. How's it guys? My name is Gus the African Plant Hunter and I am standing in front of a beautiful example of this, the large fruited bush willow, Combretum zaheri, known locally as Muruka or Mbondo in the Ndebele. Uh, in South Africa they call it the Rosblar, which is an uh, onomatopoeic term that describes the rustling noise made by the leaves. Uh, but let's just call it the large fruited combretum for now because we all can all understand that and the reason is very simple and very obvious. All combretums have these four wing pods or pretty much all of them but uh, none of them are anywhere near as big as this one so this one is unmistakable. Very beautiful tree, uh, very distinctive leaf patterning, the leaves are quite large, they kind of hang down so interestingly, they, the, these uh, combretums are called bush willow. There's no relationship between them and the willows, but it is the tendency sometimes for the leaves to droop that gives them that name. And you particularly see that on this one because the leaves are quite big. They almost look as if the leaves have overwhelmed uh, their stems and, and they can't be held up, so they're sort of hanging down. The fruit are there throughout the year, so they come early um, in the oh, so sort of midway through the summer and then they stay there after all the leaves have dropped you'll still see the fruit on the tree and they only drop when the new leaves come in the new season. Combretums are famous for their wide range of medicinal uses both in traditional medicine and in uh, western allopathic medicine. From the western medicine point of view uh, combretums have been explored extensively for their antifungal, antibacterial properties and also more recently for the anti-cancer activity. There's a compound that is found in several of these trees, in several of these species called combretostatin, which is being explored now scientifically for its anti-cancer activity. I won't go into detail to explain exactly how it works, but it is fascinating and incredibly effective it seems. Uh, it hasn't yet been approved for final use as a drug, but the signs are all good and uh, all the Combretum fans are holding their fingers for this one. In terms of traditional medicine, hereabouts in Zimbabwe, it's mostly used to treat dysentery. But there are very many other medicinal uses in other African cultures. In Tanzania, for example, it's your first choice treatment, an extract from the leaves of the Combretum zaheri for a scorpion sting. Uh, it's also used, the leaves are used for eye ointments to treat eye ailments. Uh, a concoction made from the bark mixed in oil that's used as a back rub for backache. Uh, many other topical wound treatments uh, around East and Southern Africa associated with this tree. Also with the bark, of course. Root bark often contains most of the uh, phytoactive compounds in any medicinal plant. So that's where most people would look to get the most biological activity or pharmaceutical activity. The roots are also used... Um, they have a practical use as a fiber. They are quite fibrous and they're sometimes used to make rope and also used to make fish traps. Not a lot eats these fruits, surprisingly, given how abundantly they, uh, they're produced by the tree. Although the baboons do, and you will certainly see elephant browsing the leaves of this tree. That is quite common. And otherwise, you'll see the tree, once these leaves have dropped, you'll see it standing there tall and proud with just these fruit there in big clusters. And it is an unmistakable tree. So I think that's it, my flying summary overview of the large fruited bush willow. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a beautiful tree, particularly at this time of year as we're coming into winter and the leaves are cha changing color. A glorious tree. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite sites in the, in the African bush. If you've enjoyed this, you can find plenty more on my YouTube channel uh, or Facebook and sometimes even Instagram. Just go and check out African Plant Hunter. You will find me there. And if you would like to support me to enable me to make more videos like this, you can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter and then just clicking to support me. That would be really, really, really appreciated. All right, guys, I am off. As you can see, the sun is getting low, which means only one thing for me. It's time for a sundowner. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.